With this video, we will be doing Adam Calhoun. The name of the song is Racism. If you want to help the channel and the content that we're making, please help support our merchandise. The link is in the description. And if you didn't hit that like button, make sure you hit that like button. We're trying to get the channel to grow. And the only way we're going to do this if you like, share, and comment on the content. So without further ado, let's get into Adam Calhoun. Racism. Let's go. Chi Chi, get the Yale. Get the Yale. Hillbilly. Fracker. Nigga. White trash. Fuck you, nigga. Mm -hmm. What the fuck you rapping for? Crack your ass, cracker. Got your rebel flag with your camo hat backwards. Stains on your shirt with your fucked up teeth. Piece of shit truck broke down, middle of the street. Mm -hmm. Holy. I think that's crazy. He's talking about how stuff is going on um, in his hood, and he's giving you perception uh, from his hood. We always hearing the deception. Our hood is good. It's nice to know about where he's from and how it looks where he's at. Yeah, because I think it's 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 dope when you look at it from that perspective. See, I actually lived out there before. Okay. Like, so I've been out in Kansas, riding okay. around and seeing these trailer parks. <laughs> yeah. Everything my man talking about, from the camel hats to <laughs> okay. the teeth all jacked up off the off the chew. Like he ain't lying. Okay. He ain't lying. Oh, so you know from personal experience. Mm -hmm, I That's seen dope. it. In front of the trailer park, it's crazy. Yeah, it's real out there. Yeah. What the fuck you rapping for? Crack your ass, cracker, got your rebel flag with your camo hat backwards. Stains on your shirt with your fucked up teeth. Piece of shit truck broke down, middle of the street. Old lady bitching in the passenger seat, smoking like a chimney. Kids in the back can't breathe. Got a kid on her lap, smack his ass if he speaks. Always wearing white beaters cause her ass getting beat. Okay, that's. He said she was wearing wife beater because uh, it's getting beat. Um, I think that was That's crazy, so and we all can relate to the bar when he said our old lady bitching in the passenger seat. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When stuff get real, wife you gonna be on your heels. Like yo, da 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 da. This need to be paid. The kids need that. Da 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 da. As a man, you ain't trying to hear that, especially when you don't have it at the time to give. It's just more pressure and more stress on you. Um. So yeah. Yeah, it's, this is tough. It's like somebody really talking from another side of the hood. Yeah. Know? And, like, it's interesting to hear uh, uh, it don't sound too far gone. Yeah, at all. Yeah. Piece of shit truck broke down middle of the street. Old lady bitching in the passenger seat. Smoking like a chimney. Kids in the back can't breathe. Got a kid on her lap. Smack his ass if he speaks. Always wearing white beaters because her ass can't beat. Okay, that's white trash, but what about a hillbilly? Redneck motherfucker. Never even near a city. Out in the woods. Hunting deeper than the wolves. Get that big old buck. Bring them home. Eat until they fall. Or they Sick. out in the... Got that big old buck they eat until mm -hmm. it's full. You feel what I'm saying? We just call it dinner for the night. It's tough yeah. out here. Sometimes we gotta go catch dinner. Or we ain't gonna be eating dinner. That's what it sound like to me. Oh, but we gonna eat. <laughs> you feel me? One way or another. Indeed. Out of here, Billy. Redneck motherfucker. Never even near a city. Out in the woods. Hunting deeper than the wolves. Get that big old buck. Bring them home. Eat until they fall. Or they out in the shed. On the side drinking shine. Old lady bitch. You better bring your ass aside. It's way past nine. You been drinking all night. Everybody can relate to that getting bent. You still gotta go to work tomorrow, but you still figure out how to get down time. You, yeah, right? you, you had up. a good night, but you get up and you pull yourself up in there, get a couple cups of coffee when you get there, and then you good yeah. to go. You going you wanna keep having good nights, you better get up. <laughs> the facts. Lady bitch, you better bring your ass aside. It's way past nine. You've been drinking all night. Gotta get to work on time up before the sun rises. Call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. Call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. What the fuck you rapping for? Nigga ass nigga got your sagging pants with your ass hanging out the back Hanging out in front of liquor stores selling crack Just so you could put some 24s on your Cadillac Baby mama bitching Sound like shots fired <laughs> you know yeah, he busting off at everybody. He? Everybody get it. He said, oh, you thought we was leaving. Y'all out? Nah, y'all getting some of these bars too. Yeah. What the fuck you rapping for? 
Nigga ass nigga got your sagging pants with your ass hanging out the back Hanging out in front of liquor stores selling crack Just so you could put some 24s on your Cadillac Baby mama bitchin' you ain't taking care of business All you do is smoke weed run around with other bitches And you can't keep a job what are you doing, smoke weed, run right around? I mean, that's in, uh, that sound kind of familiar. <laughs> no, like, I'm sitting here like, damn, you just going to, you know what I mean? Yo, this is crazy. I never heard nothing like this before. That yeah. somebody, like, this is crazy. Say what's on their mind. This is crazy. Just so you could put some 24s on your Cadillac. Baby mama bitch, you ain't taking care of business. All you do is smoke weed, run around with other bitches. And you can't keep a job, because you in and out of prison. Guess it must be Trump's fault, because you making bad decisions. That's about niggas, but what about black folk? Raise their kids right every night. Mom and dad are home, hunting for a job. Not crying about a privilege. Crying out the God, stop the violence where we live in. Fuck it. You know, I like how he um, gave both um, scenarios of it. It was um, yeah. mommy uh Chris Rock when he said I love black people but I hate niggas. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It gave me like yeah. that type of feel. That type uh, of vibe. That, that, that's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. I'm dead serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people say a lot of things, but I, it almost make you say, "Did they listen to the end?" You know what I'm saying? Because nice. he definitely made a separation between the bullshit. You yeah. Know what I mean? And the people. Who the ones that's like, out here really, respect, really you know doing I mean? they got to do for their kids and all that. You know what I mean? Real talk. And guess it must be Trump's fault Cause you making bad decisions That's about niggas But what about black folk Raise their kids right Every night Mom and dad are home Hunting for a job Not crying about a privilege Crying out the God Stop the violence where we live in Fuck it though You a nigga And I'm just a cracker They pin us against each other Sit back and they watch it happen you're just a nigga and I'm just a cracker. They paint the picture and watch it happen. Um, this song with Deep, that's why you could never pass judge on it until you listen to the whole song because yeah. he's really started talking about something. He just like a movie. He's breaking it. He's giving you the intro, the climax, and then breaking it down at the yeah. conclusion. Yeah, and I think it's tough. Yeah, 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 I like, yeah. How, I like how he did it. People first hearing it might be like, what is he talking about? Um, If you feel like he was in whatever group that he was talking about. But as he put it together, he's just basically saying we all going through the same stuff in our own hoods just differently. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? We drinking moonshine y'all smoking weed they, you know what i'm saying like yeah. everybody but it's important like you said to listen to the end because it's very easy that somebody could be like he said what he said what oh this <laughs> motherfucker it's like everybody yeah, got yeah, me yeah, yeah. i ain't even gotta hear Facts. nothing but when you hear you know what i'm saying what's going inside and you hear artistry you can you know what i mean appreciate. you can respect it yeah Guess it must be Trump's fault Cause you making bad decisions That's about niggas But what about black folk Raise their kids right Every night Mom and dad are home Hunting for a job Not crying about a privilege Crying out the God Stop the violence where we live in Fuck it though You a nigga And I'm just a cracker They pin us against each other Sit back and they watch it happen In the hood they selling crack And killing over shoes and jackets In the trailer park They fall apart A bunch of mad addicts Call me redneck, white trash, say it back I don't care, kiss my ass, I don't care, kiss my ass They call me redneck, white trash, say it back I don't care, kiss my ass, I don't care, kiss my ass They call me redneck, white trash, say it back I don't care, kiss my ass, I don't care, kiss my ass They call me redneck, white trash, say it back I don't care, kiss my ass, I don't care, kiss my ass That was different, it's Trey TV, let's get it this is Lamar Wilson speaking here for Ghetto Action News Network underscore. All lower cases. No spaces. And you can find us on Facebook. And when you do, make sure you hit that like button. I'm going to get right on down to this. Adam Calhoun. Yes. He went in today. What's this? Uh, racism. Mm. With the hard R. Yes, the hard R. You know what I'm saying? And, and definitely, you know what I mean? He, he ain't hold no punches. He kind of went on everybody. Everybody gets you it. You know what I'm saying? He, he, and he, I like how he went on the downside in the upside, you know Facts. what I'm saying? But he just went on the truth. Right. I mean, whether you want to eat it or not, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I do like the perspective. I think it was uh, great artistry how he explained, like you explained even in the video, the mm. segments of thought. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was interesting. I like the vibe. I like his flow. I like the beats. If I had to rate this, I'm going to get this one at eight. What you think? I think it was a tough song. And a shout out for him for even the creative process of even coming out with this song because this is deep thinking outside of the box it's something i never heard before so when i hear something i never heard before i'll be like wow i wonder what was his thinking process 
um, when he wrote this song and how did he come together with this and how did he feel about if he thought that he might face um, certain stuff or saying certain words and doing certain stuff um, in a video. I personally have a problem with it, um, but some people could have some problem with it and he knew that before he put the song out. So I just want to know his thought process, but overall, we get back to the music. I thought it was a tough song. I like how he broke everything down for every group. Just showing everybody we going through the same things uh, pretty much just in different ways and they putting us against each other and we need to stop that putting us against each other because we all out here struggling mm -hmm. like we out here fighting over the crumbs while they walking out the back door with the whole cake um and i like the way that he put that and if i had to rank this um on a one to ten uh, me personally i'm giving it a nine because i thought it was real creative and i like that beat and if you want to help this channel and the content that we're making please help support our merchandise and link in the description it's your boy trey tv and i'm out